Hi guys, Dazzy B for Elite Killers. I've right, just been playing around in Photoshop again, so I'm going to make something like this. I'll show you how to do it. So it's Photoshop CS5. So, first things first, new, custom size. Don't really matter what size you do this at. Give it a new layer when you get on there. Right, so using the pen tool, one click, second click, then drag, get a curve. Then go to your brush and uh, pick one of your circle brushes. And I think I pick about 18, 19 size here. You can play about the size to uh, get whatever you want. So back to the pen tool, right click, stroke path. Make sure this is toggled off and OK that. And so it's gone to the size and everything you've selected in your brushes. Delete the path. Right, so you want to take this to the edge of the uh, of the page. Now we'll just mess about with it first. I mean, do whatever you want to, whatever colours, backgrounds, shadows and bevels and whatever that you fancy. So just see what I do and then do it to your own uh, likings. Now I'm going to, um, well I have already uploaded a Photoshop graphics pack onto Z share or Z share so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, put a link in the description it's a zip file and it's about I don't know, 250 megabytes so there's a lot of stuff on there it'll come in dead handy for anyone who's got Photoshop so as I said put it to the edge it'll just make it a lot easier when you come to use it now you're not even going to want Doing something like this, you might want more than one. Just duplicate the lever layer, and then just play about with it so it looks different, so it doesn't look like a really a total copy. So I'll just drag it about, make it bigger, smaller, wider, whatever you think looks right. And what you also need to do is probably easier to crop it as I'm doing here and then make sure you leave the uh, make it a transparent background because we're going to be placing it onto another template soon so I've took the background off there save it, remember the name and the place that you save it to ok so go to the background you're going to put it onto so using the pen tool again I'm going to create a shape. I'm doing this pretty quickly, so I know we've we'll spent a little bit more time getting it a bit more how I wanted it, but this will do for demonstration purposes. So, once you're happy with it, let's go and get the uh, thing that we just made. So, file, place, type in the name you saved it at. So, amend the size so it fits what you just created. At the, at the minute, this the layer is in the wrong position, but uh, I'll just get it dragged into the right position, and then bring this layer down. There you go. So it's looking a little bit more like it now. And then all I'm going to do is next is put in these little uh, like inserts for the pipes to go into. Any questions just leave a leave it below but other than that rewind the video pause it and you'll see what I've done once you've finished that you might want more than one of these on the uh, background just duplicate it now to make it easy what I'm going to do is press my shift and select all them layers that I've just created there So all the layers we've just done, merge, right click, merge layers, and that just saves you a lot of hassle. Now you can duplicate the whole thing, what I'm going to do it here, there you go, now you can put that on the opposite side of the background, drag it around to change the size so it looks different, overlay it on the one you've just done a little bit, whatever you fancy.
and have us in Frankfurt Dazzy B.